Good day, this is Mike Olden with Lee Smith. I do look forward to working with you on your next international truck tractor. This is a 500 horsepower, 12 speed endurance transmission, Cummins X15, 14.9 liter engine. A lot of bright finish on this truck from the convex mirrors to the exterior sun visor, front swept bumper, stylized front grille. Our tires are the 295-75R, 22 and a half inch Continental. The brand plate on this is the HSL3 front. Uh, you can tell we have the aluminum front wheels. Okay, VIN number on this truck tractor is 3HSDZ APR 4NN884337. On the exterior of the LT cab, uh, coming out with this particular design on the B pillars, we have the vertical exhaust giving some air of class and presence on the road. We've coupled that with courtesy lights. As you can tell, they're well designed uh, lights to illuminate the truck as it goes down the road. And again, the exterior flash of the exterior B pillar muffler system. Bright finish on the bottom side, including our DEF tank. Our batteries located up underneath that front section and the pull cords for the tanks. Everything accessible uh, right here on the side. Interior storage up underneath here. We have plenty of storage space, courtesy light, pressurized. The power inverter tucked inside. The reflector kits tucked underneath. Beautiful piping for allowing the airflow to come up and into the sleeper berth area maxi fuse location with brief descriptions as to what they control uh, on the exterior of the box so well it automatically turns off as we close the storage door there we have that two-step access on the back lap hands tow bar on the back of the cab we have the cb antennas uh, grab handle so you can be able to connect our airlines to the trailer we do have the air slide fifth wheel release. This is the Fontaine fifth wheel system. Co rims inside and outside, 40,000 pound airbag suspension. Tires are the Continental. These are the HDL2. Nice mixed breed of traction and outer band for driving control, steering the water away from the underside of the truck. Backup alarm. Wonderful dampers on the mud flaps. Border fenders on the front area pocketed for the APU on the passenger side if you would like to install one. Our fuel tanks on here is a 120 and 100 gallon fuel tank, so a total of 220 gallons of fuel. Our driving force of the um, cooling system in the sleeper still have storage, still have a good pass through for longer items. Hey, you may want to go skiing full width access to the underside of the sleeper berth for maximum storage of your personal items. On the passenger side, this is the 100 gallon fuel tank. The driver's side has the 120 gallon fuel tank. Again, the compression for the lamp on the interior. Remove the key, lower back down. A little gas strut help. There we have it. All right, we're taking a look at the Cummins X15 14.9 liter engine, 500 horsepower, 1,650 foot-pounds of torque, beautifully inset inside the frame rails of this LT625. Air scoop on the inside, taking the fresh air that's cleanest up along top of the hood scoop to bring it directly into the breather system on the opposite side. This is the Endurant 12 speed fully automated transmission, which is delivering the best fuel performance when we're matching, again, the X-15 engine with the Endurance and a 265 rear axle ratio. On the passenger side, we have access to two of our main fluids, that being the windshield washer fluid and our radiator fluid as well. The air comes in through the uh, air filtration system, comes right on in to the turbocharger, comes around as we all know turbo, how turbochargers work throwing the air to cool it, going in, using the exhaust side to go ahead and ramp up that speed, delivering extra power as you travel further and further down the road. The International has come a tremendous distance, delivering a quality cab. And one of the better fleet inspections is a lamp check. So to successfully do a lamp check on the International, you do need to make sure that you have the headlamps in the off position that way it can go through and cycle both front and back. So during the cycle, we'll go ahead and take a look at our standard lights, our fog lights, our accent lights, our 
right turn signal, left turn signal, our brights translating over to our marker lamps as well. So not only does it do the front, it features how it affects our side lamps, all the way back to our rear lamps, making sure that your truck is safe to travel on the road, even does the work lights at the back. As you can tell, we have both the standard lamp in the middle and two additional power LED lights to really create a dramatic lighting feature at the back of this tractor. And that is how to look at the lamp check on the International. Check of the work lights at the back. It's a very soft light until you get to the spotting part and then you have all those lumens coming into effect right here as the vehicle almost could seem to have a rock concert based on the value of the lamp coming to the back of the trailer so you have great visibility from your West Coast mirror. So on the National 2000 suspension system for the driver, it does have the back cycler in addition to the baffles for three different lumbar supports, outer panel inflation, side bottom inflation, additional inflation for your right quality as you go down the road. This is a brand new LT double bunk high rise sleeper, brilliant bright finish to make sure your presence on the road is known. So let's take a look at the interior package and see what we have to offer. On the steering column we have the cruise control, the phone controls, the flash to pass, and fog lamps. On the odometer only 1375 transit miles to get here. Lamp check, work lights for the back, high contrast LED system coming over to our AM FM Bluetooth radio, hands free, brake controller, lane change mitigation on off for lane change, five minute interval, APU enable if you should choose to install an APU. Traditional cigarette lighter plug, USB, USB, and USB, and a fourth USB for powering various items you may have in the cab. This does have a inner axle, inner wheel, differential lock, traction control, hill assist, the courtesy lights when the doors open, as well as the courtesy lights for the sleeper and interior of the cabin. Control of the temperature is by a thermostatic control, and you can manipulate the cooling temperatures for the sleeper berth. PTO applications are accessible in this truck tractor. The suspension dump, fifth wheel slide, the parked regeneration, three position engine brake, and your control for your transmission. This truck is equipped with the Bendix Wingman Collision Mitigation System, and we have that device in the window which confirms that. Heated mirrors, power windows, power door locks, cups control in the door as well as in between the driver's seat. The seat that I'm sitting on is a back cycler massage seat. The headlamps are both twilight controlled and on the automatic setting uh, it will take a look at getting right on into that twilight control. You have fog lights by pressing in to turn the fog lights on. Let's take a look inside the sleeper. We'll be putting on a nice spring mattress on the first level. It does come with the second level mattress in place. Let's see if we can, there we go, illuminate. Fold up because it is the high rise assembly. If you're looking for the single operator with a dual operator, a good 30 inch mattress on top for the interior plus the lamp. Good six foot four height on the inside as well. And you have 25 inches of clearance between the upper berth and the ceiling. So a lot of good visibility, whether you're in a single man or a two man operation as a team. Taking that up and out of the way, you can tell the living room feel that you get when you have it as a single bunk uh, operator as well. Screens for the windows, nice red illumination, storage up underneath the open pocket in the middle there. Access point for cabinet storage swinging up and out of the way for the passenger side and similar for the driver side up and out of the way. Underneath we have the wardrobe closet and it's a step access to get into the upper bunk should it be needed. We'll close that up. Strap in the middle for your microwave on that side. On the passenger side, TV strap and antenna access points and power. 110 volt passenger side, 110 volt driver side. Driver side does have the storage up at the headboard so you have sleeper dome light control as well back in the back uh, your accent to increase the brightness your temperature control your inverter is on the on position here radio controls 
for the speaker in the back. Light in two different spots for illumination on the interior of the sleeper. Working desk pull out has the film on top of it at this point in time. Drawer and a space to install a refrigerator. That takes care of our sleeper berth area. We have plenty of above storage that wraps around on the passenger side in addition to the driver's side. Storage space and pocket here. CV radio in addition to an above insert as well. Take a look at the dash. A very open, roomy area on the inside of this sleeper. I hope you'll find the same to be true for your needs. Take a look on the outside. Our West Coast mirrors. Power windows, power door locks on the passenger side. Wrap around curtain for the front. Mid curtain to have that, again, degree of separation as you're traveling down the road. Above the driver's side is all the material for information on your dash display button, transmission, and uh, the rest of your layout as we get it started. Put on the brake. Goes to the cycle. Lane departure system is enabled. You do have it on brake. We've gone through the check on the front. It's 66 degrees outside, 13.9 on the meter. Averaging 9.5 miles to the gallon in the 1,300 miles it was driven. Uh, with the engine running right at 30 hours at this point. I'm going to go ahead and slide over, take a look at our gauges uh, on the vehicle. We have the voltmeter speedometer enabled. This is our alerts feature to capture any hard alerts that may come into play as the vehicle is driven so we can have good communication with the operator and the company. Uh, set up, display off, display settings, and display settings we can do the backlight, the language, and the units whether we're doing metric and or U.S. standard. The learn radar system to go ahead and configure the wingman, dynamic radar as well, speed limit signs in the country to learn those too. PTO application is not applied at this point in time. Tire pressure monitoring system to so the tire pressure the readings that we have on the tractor at this second, coming down, selecting tire temperatures. This is our gradient temperature on the interior of the tires, again, to best maximize the performance of the truck tractor and our tire deviation, how that is tracking. Axle load display uh, for the rear axles as it is loaded using the air pressure to the bags. Automatic driver assist to keep in the lane gives you good imagery as you do your driving and will of course illuminate as you get too close on the dash when we turn it off it goes to the gray turn it back on it goes to green and again it does reset after it appears to default back on so take a look at a little bit of drive time see what happens as we go buckling up for safety getting ourselves into reverse Please stop and to drive. So the LT International has a little rim that comes across the top of the dash, which is great, can, very convenient for my videos. Uh, so I'm very grateful for that. But it also has pocketed storage for your uh, personal items that you can utilize uh, that space as you're doing your daily drive. So I'm doing it once around the yard again. So we're back to the standard gauge package with the ambient temperature, the speedometer, and again, a good driving environment. Thank you for your spin around the yard with me. And it's gone to auto neutral is what that announcement is uh, on the interior here. Again, nice bright finish on the B pillars. Really adds to the accent lighting we have on this truck. Coming back for the full sweep of the truck tractor. Again, my name is Mike Olden. I am with Lee Smith. You can reach me at 423-618-3323. Shoot me an email, molden at lee-smith.com. You're going to make it a great day. Thank you for your business. This is Steve Dunn, the sales manager here at Lee Smith. Say hello. Hello. And uh, see more of him when he's back to letting me interview him. I think my last one kind of gives him uh, a culture shock.